Okay. Getting into risk analysis and the actual how-to. What is it that we are doing in, in particular? As I said, you know, the, the standard uh, thing, uh, get everybody together, figure out what can go wrong, and what are you going to do about it? And again, we, were, we will see this uh, once more when we get into, uh, say, business continuity planning, disaster recovery planning, you know, what can possibly go wrong, what are we going to do about it, and getting everybody together to discuss that. But um, in terms of breaking it down and what do we actually do in this regard, uh, step one, obtain management support. Make sure that you have the support of management in regard to what we are going to do in terms of the risk analysis and eventually the risk management. And in, in that regard, in terms of obtaining management support, uh, the first thing that we need to address is what are we going to do? What is the scope of this project? What is it that we are going to actually do? In, in education, we talk about scope and sequence. Uh, you know, how, how big is the topic? How much of the topic are we going to address? Because, of course, we cannot address everything for a particular audience. Um, you know, if you are take, teaching science to a grade 5 class, the scope is going to be somewhat different than if you are teaching a particular area of science to a graduate class. And, and so what is the scope? What are we going to do with regard to security and our enterprise in this uh, particular area and this particular uh, situation? So, uh, what is the scope that we are going to address? And we, we need to agree this with management. That's, you know, part of obtaining their support for, for this project, for the, the risk assessment, the risk analysis, and, and eventually, as I say, the risk management. Um, who is going to be included and that's you know in a sense part of the everybody uh, that we talked about before but uh, who uh, specifically among management is going to be involved in the decision uh, so we're, we're selecting our team members for the analysis part of the project itself and we want to have, you know, what, what is our official authority here from management? Again, you know, management has to support the issue, and we, we need to get their buy-in. We need to uh, have their uh, understanding of what we're doing and their authority for what we are doing in terms of you know, we're going to be bothering people, we're going to be talking to people, we're going to be asking for meetings. Um, we need to have the authority to call those meetings. So we need to have the authority to call on people to uh, second workers to our team. Uh, and the work that they are going to be doing for us in terms of determining what specifically is going to be done in regard to security. What uh, is our, uh, what are our procedures going to be? What kind of safeguards are, are we putting in place? Uh, what kinds of amendments are we making to policy in regard to the results of our risk analysis? And uh, of course, all the, the work that goes into determining that in the first place as we are figuring out and and doing the actual analysis 
and determining what kinds of controls, countermeasures, safeguards do need to be put in place for our enterprises overall security and addressing the different risks that we find in the assessment and the analysis. So, but, you know, the first thing, the number one step in the process is making sure that we have the support of management in all of this, in uh, the entire project. And, as I say, you know, their, their buy-in depends on them understanding what it is that we are doing, why we are doing it, uh, their agreement that this is important, and their uh, participation, if at all possible. Um, you know, as I say, when I, you know, selecting the team members is important. Uh, boy, if you can get the CFO on side, please do so. I mean, you know, uh, the guy who controls the money, the guy who controls the resources, that is going to be absolutely vital to our success. Uh, you know, our, our planning, whatever it is, is not going to succeed unless we have the agreement and approval of management. So, number one priority. And we'll go on with some of the additional details in the next clip.